Metallic Elephant offer a range of different foils for your KSF3 machine. When you begin to hot foil print, the choice of hot stamping foils can be overwhelming and there is no universal foil that works on all products. Hot stamping foils are made up of four layers, the carrier strip, release wax, coating or colour if you like, and one of the most important parts, adhesive. Adhesive depends on the material you're printing onto, and the code on the foil refers to this. Most foil suppliers will guide you to the correct foil. Most hot foil printing problems stem from having the wrong foil for the job, so make sure when you receive your foil from your supplier that it's in good condition. If it flakes off the carrier strip, it's likely old and unusable. You'll also need to make sure it's well cut, if it's got jagged edges, this can cause fraying and splitting of foil when it's fed through the press. If you have either of these issues, ask for a new roll. Most foils are supplied in 122 metre rolls, but different colours will look different sizes. You'll need to tell your foil supplier the width of the roll you require. Good practice is the size of your design plus 10 millimetres either side. How many prints you get out of your roll will depend on the size of your design and how you have your machine set up, but it normally runs into the thousands. A quick word on storage. Foils should be kept in conditions where you're comfortable. No, not a hot tub with Prosecco. I mean somewhere that's not too hot and humid or cold and damp, as all of this can affect the longevity of your foil. Sometimes the only option is to try a few different foil variants as it's not always clear what in the substrate you're trying to print onto. So, for example, if you're printing leather, you'll naturally think you need a leather foil, but if there's a coating on the leather, you'll need a foil that prints onto the coating. And one final tip. When you buy your foil, ask for the grade sheet. This will guide you on the manufacturer's recommended working temperature, and it's good practice to keep your foil reference book to hand.